up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. Today we're uh, reviewing Love and Marriage Huntsville, season four, episode 12. So let's get into it. But first, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So Huntsville, I guess we still back in Bessema at Wanda's cookout with her whole entire family. All right, Kiwan and Karen on chow. Kiki didn't come in and sat down and stressed Marceau and Tisha the hell out. Tisha and Kiki are talking in circles back and forth about why they're mad at each other, which is at this point complete nonsense. Kiki keeps talking about this business that Tisha and Marcel told to the whole, we don't know what it is. If y'all are not going to say what it is, then let's just drop the shit. Because to be honest, like nobody cares about the relationship between Kiki and Tisha and the whole rest of the Bessema clan. None of that like really makes sense, honestly, at this point. We're so over this conversation about Marcel cheating and you know what would be way better is if we could like see what's going on in black. Like we had that whole issue last season with Marcel not um, communicating well with Jalen. We love Jalen, so we would like to see more of Jalen. But black is y'all's actual business. It would be interesting to see how is the restaurant going? What are y'all doing to grow it? Tisha, what do you do? You used to host all these events. Why don't you have some events over at Black so we can see what that business is all about? I don't know anything about y'all's construction stuff, but and I don't know how to make that interesting. It would be interesting maybe to see what Marceau really does and what kind of, you know, business he's running over there to be able to throw a uh, $40,000 at Wanda for no good damn reason, but we don't ever see any of that. So it's kind of like, what, what's the, what is this show even about? <laughs> I'm so confused because at the end of the day, it just can't always be about drama. It can't always be about drama, drama, drama. You have to build some type of foundation around it. And the foundation is not there because we waste a lot of time with Whatever it is we got going on in Huntsville and Bessemer and Utah and any of the surrounding cities in, over there in Alabama. But like I said, I think I like if Marcel and Tisha, if y'all want to have a, a, a storyline that's not about your marriage, because I don't give a shit about your marriage. You want to be married to Marcel, then congratulations on your life. But at the end of the day, owning a, a business like he's talking about, he went to Atlanta, he's going to Atlanta to look at more, you know, options on how to uh, expand Black Yawn showed us what's going on over there in this restaurant. So make it make sense. I'm just saying. Wanda is upset that, that Kiki brought the drama to her party and it wasn't rude. Wanda, who brings drama to everybody's event, um, is now upset that Kiki brought drama to her event. Never mind the fact that last week when we was watching the beginning of this ridiculous ass cookout that the whole entire family was screaming at Marcel for, I don't even know why, something about a picture that we saw on the internet of his back. But, but Kiki brought the drama. I don't really wanna talk about uh, Marcel's infidelity anymore. No more. So I wish y'all would find something else to talk about. You know, we spent this whole time at the cookout. I ain't seen no potatoes. Like, you know, we talking about this food truck and this food truck, then let's see the food. Why don't y'all have an event where Wanda's out there peddling her potatoes and we can see what, what the people say? You know, I can help. Like, if y'all need some help over there, Jesus, Anything is better than this. We don't give a fuck. We don't really care who Marceau is sleeping with. God bless the both of y'all. However many it is. 20. All 20 of y'all. God bless all 20 of y'all. Kimmy meets up with Destiny. Kimmy says they haven't seen each other since the housewarming, where Destiny was over there having it out with Stormy. 
Destiny seems to want to stand by this whole thing that I don't understand why she got mad that I called her sweetie. It's a southern time. We've talked and I've called her sweetie before. Destiny, you are not dumb. You know you didn't mean it in any type of friendly way. And, you know, honestly, I can call you a bitch or I can call you a bitch. You know which one I'm saying, which one I mean when I say it. So, you know, stop. Destiny never wants to take any kind of accountability for anything. And, and, and Destiny, why are you over there worrying about Stormy and what Mel is doing and who said, didn't say sorry and what you, what's going on with Madani, Mazani? I don't even know. I don't even know the name of it. You know why? Because I never see the name of it. Maybe you should be promoting your business and stop being so all up in Mel's business. You and Tisha, you and Tisha are over there making mess instead of making, you got to, you, you know, <laughs> you got something to work with here, but you want, you don't want to work with it. So you don't want to talk about your divorce. That's fine. Where's the baby? How is that? How is that trying to run a business? But Johnny, last season you were having, I don't know, launch parties where you were giving away tickets. How you giving away tickets to to uh, where are you sending Kimmy to on a honeymoon? You're giving away tickets to honeymoons and and you on food stamps or whatever public assistance you said you was on. I'm just saying it's not making sense and it's not enough. You know, you like focused on your own business. If you were focused on your own business, then maybe we would know what it is and it would be able to be open. And any of those kind of things, but to be honest, I think a good storyline is the struggle of running your own business as a single mother. That's a hard ass task to follow, you know, so stay out the recording studio because we don't want any of that. And, you know, if you, if you want to be this mogul that you claim to want to be, your businesswoman that you claim to want to be, make your own business and make your business not be about male's business. It's so stupid to be sitting around having a conversation Kimmy, by the way, what are you doing over there? I thought you were cooking or Kimmy, it's hard to tell what you do to be honest. And I like you, but she's a cook, she's a nurse, she's a broker, real estate broker. She turning into Maurice. Y'all got so many jobs, we don't know what the hell y'all are doing. I thought she was like bringing food. Didn't she bring food to Martel last season? So. It just seems like everybody got so much going on, but we don't see that. We sitting here talking about why can't you and Mel be friends? Who gives a shit? Y'all ain't friends. Let that shit go. Do you have any different friends? I thought you and Tisha were friends. You and Tisha are only friends because both of y'all hate Mel. Y'all ain't really friends. You and Mar Mel Martell are friends. Seems like you're friends with everybody that's not friends with Mel. And so y'all can sit around and talk about her all day rather than be doing something to promote your own stuff. I see why Stormy is like, I don't know about this shit. Because it's, you know, part of that conversation too. Every week, every week we got to hear her explain why her and Mel are not friends and why Mel and Tisha are enemies. So Destiny is acting like her feelings are so hurt because she was not invited to Mel's sleepover when you and Mel weren't talking. So that doesn't make sense. Every week, again, Destiny, you making up a reason like to be have an issue with Mel. She, you and Mel are done, done. Y'all are not friends anymore. So why is that? Because you decided to do handle things the way you did. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you were that hell-bent on being friends with Mel, then you should have maybe rethought your whole process of how you was going to be moving forward. And moving forward as Mel's enemy is stupid. Just go do your own thing. You don't have to be any enemies with somebody just because you're not friends with them. Like, you're not 12. Grow the fuck up. Uh, Tiffany goes to visit uh, Lewis at the compound. Now, she goes over there to ask him why he... Didn't ask her about her trip to Utah. The same trip she uninvited him to, that he wanted to go with her. Remember, Tiffany, he said he wanted to go with you, but you decided you wanted to go with Mel. And so now you want to be mad at him because he didn't ask you what happened while you were over there with Mel. This is stupid too, okay? What does Tiffany do? 
What do we know about Tiffany? Can somebody please tell me what she does? Because I don't know what she does. I know she don't work down to the Chamber of Commerce no more, so she doesn't work down there no more. Where does she work? Let's see her at her office. And why is nobody ever at the compound? What is the compound? Is it a gym? Is it like where you um, rent equipment? Like, let's find, let's, y'all got some missing pieces. I don't know what Tiffany does. I don't know what really goes down into compound. I know that Martel came over there to work out a little bit and Lewis was like stretching a little bit, but I don't know what actually happens over there. So maybe before we take boring ass trips to Utah, Alabama to go find out who her daddy is. Can we find out who she is and who her husband is? Like, don't they have kids? How does that, like, there's so many things missing, like, and they got kids that are the age of monster in them, who's also missing. So Kimmy and Maurice, maybe, how come we can't see, like, what it's like to be raising a teenager like right now in these times because I know myself Kimmy what is it like to have an adult child and a teenage child and to have been past that and go right back to teenage and dealing with them types of issues again um I know I've been through that and a lot of those things are very interesting to talk about we don't talk about that we over here trying to act like monster wasn't vaping at the school when he was was so so what like those are things that you go through as a parent and your child but y'all wanted to go over there and kick tiffany's ass for bringing it up when it could have really been a real storyline y'all think we stupid and we just want to see made up shane nobody trying to see uncle bernard screaming at marcel about having sex with somebody besides his wife So Mar Martel meets up with Melanica. He wants to, you know, discuss his event because he's so very proud of his wine. I guess Martel, to me, it seems like he's still doing stuff to compete with Mel and okay, I guess, but you know, I can't take him seriously. So until I see something, I think, yeah, maybe, you know, the best thing you could have done is keep uh, have Melanika on your team because she seems to be doing something. I do like that she was like, yeah, besides all that and this wine and all of that, still like study for your test so you can get your builder's license. And it seems like he's still trying to like wriggle away out of, you know, not doing it. So now all of a sudden this week, he seems a little less committed that he um, did last week like he still says he's gonna go for sure and take the test in a couple of weeks he doesn't even like you know usually you say on you know june 24th the test tuesday june 24th i don't know if that's an actual date i'm just saying usually when somebody says what is your test when is your test you, you say the date not in a couple of weeks but that just lets me know that you ain't even still you know do you have it on your calendar martel you know you so focused on this guys trip to try to you know throw some random pussy in front of marcel and Mar maurice to you know still be being messy and then wonder why kimmy and them, you know have an issue with you so now we have another conversation orchestrated by tisha and marcel to debunk all of the ridiculous rumors about them and the infidelities in their relationship and understanding now that they're solid and there's nothing to worry about. I mean, if you say so, if that's what it is, then that's what it is. They talk about the food truck and what a bad idea it is to just uh, invest in an old food truck. And maybe they should think about investing in a new food truck. And maybe we should just get to see Wanda sell some food. How about that? Can she sell food? Does she need a whole truck to sell it? We don't know. We haven't seen it. But we have seen Marcel back on the internet and, you know, allegedly, and other, you know, <laughs> so-called infidelities. You know, they have to, like, also give their version of why they had to tell Kiki's business. I don't, you know, I don't give a shit. You know, nobody wants to see Marceau and Tisha make up a scenario and a narrative for, you know, for their happy, happy home. If y'all are happy, then, you know, that's wonderful. You know, then I'm not sure why Tisha's crying. Like she's crying 
in the process of saying how, you know, she's so broken up over, I don't know, the breakup of, of her and her cousin Kiki's relationship or the fact that Kiki is telling, you know, T about what she crying child, she happy, she's happy and she's crying and they're not tears of joy. So we don't know what's going on there. Now, they talk about him and her like saying things, you know, when I come to you with something, not just Tisha telling him when she comes to him with something, she wants him to give her a solid answer because he's always joking around and leaving things open for interpretation. He said he can do that, but he said, um, he don't want her bringing him questions that are disrespectful. I don't know what's a disrespectful question. Is that if I ask you a question, just answer it simply. Like it doesn't, I don't know what you mean. So he used the example that her questioning him about taking wine, that black wine to uh, chocolate in a bottle, what have you, him taking mail a bottle. And he said he ain't never been to her house before. And I was like, that's that slick shit, Marcus Marcel, because I didn't hear nobody say nothing about going to, my, um, to Mel's house. Like in all of the times that I've heard that conversation come up, and it's come up a couple of times, I've never heard anyone say anything about going to Mel's house. But what I do remember is you going over to Mel's office. And I think it was that day that she was talking about she had out too much cleavage and that she needs to button her blouse. And did you go over there with a bottle of wine? Did I see that? I think that's what I saw because I was wondering why he didn't bring some to Martel. Martel said that. And then Marcel said he have no more something. I I can't remember exactly how it was, but I do remember he did bring mail, you know, some wine. So not that there was anything to it, but you know, why are you slick trying to, you know, change the story? Nobody said anything about you going to Mel's house. You think you're funny. And Tisha, you know that, but you just sat there and, you know, could you believe everything he says? Okay, girl. Uh, Kimmy meets up with Mel to discuss destiny. See what I'm talking about? Mel looking at her like, what the fuck? Why? What the she tired of this conversation too. Why is it that every time I see y'all, y'all asking me about Destiny? How many 50, 11 times do I have to tell you? I don't mess with Destiny like that no more. Whatever happened transpired, can we say sorry? Maybe, can we, you know, be cordial? Maybe, are we gonna be friends again? Not probably likely to happen. I don't see nothing wrong with it. So I don't know why we're trying to make um, male responsible for Destiny's feelings and how she went through a hard, hard time and you went through a divorce and I went through a divorce and all of that actually happened. And now I don't fuck with Destiny. So that's where we're at with that. Next. Next is the boys trip. These are guys that are on their way to Atlanta. Woo! Everybody's wife said they can go have as much fun as they want to have. And there's lots of jokes about infidelity and linebackers and things going around. And Lewis wants to get caught up in what's going on. And so I guess we're going to see that Marcel, Martel has set them up on, you know, on a date with a bunch of bitches. It looks like, like, I don't know what it's to call it. I don't know what kind of, was that, the, that wasn't the lot uh wine launch party was it maybe that was one of the events attached to you know a, a couple of different events planned for the weekend but I guess we'll see Chai. I mean I guess I, I want to see what's happening on the boys trip shoot because back over here in Huntsville we traveling in Utah and going to Bessemer for potato parties so on that note y'all you know let that one go don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one.